All right, guys. Grand Final Orlando Regional 2024. Click that video right up there if you want to know how I did. Went over it already. I did go to this. Looks like it's going to be Zard against Ancient Box. I do not have the deck list. I am commentating this not live, but blind. I have not seen the results. Scan, join me over on the socials, guys. Shout out to this guy over here, cool guy from Cool Stuff. I do believe Zard has the mashup though. Very good start. Charmander active, Charmander bench, Pidgey, and Rotom. Rotom ability. Very good turn one by Liam. Would have been better if he attached an energy. I don't think he has the energy or he decided not to. Zara does run very low on energy. Maybe he is decided not to. Not sure. Skingana Zard or the Ancient Box. Yo creo que gana Zard, no sé. One item, two energies. Sage. Explorer's Guidance. Let's see what he gets. Attach a capsule on the moon. Earth and vessel discard the penny. Ultra Ball. Discard another Ultra Ball and the uh, Poke Gear. Don't know how I feel about that, but I guess yeah, he does need a Green Ninja. Needs that draw power. Radiant, concealed, draw two. Attach pass, Liam wants to look at the discard. Party just wants to keep track of the ancient.
body puffing. Probably gonna go for a Charmander and another Pidgey, I would assume. Unless he has a Pidgey prize. I do see a Charmander. He's a thing about on the premium. Only one out of the body. I'm a second one. F Be doof. Tash pass. I was about to say, because you wouldn't be able to use it. Yeah, I'm like the basic, the Rotom could survive a hit technically here. Unless Jake somehow ramps up the ancient count don't think it's gonna happen so yeah the rotom will survive on like one of those basics no items and he discarded a moon nine He can almost knock out the Rotom. Needs a couple more. Go right on down. Earthen Vessel, discard a capsule. Uh oh, 6, 12, plus a 70, 190. He can knock out the Rotom now. Attach retreat. It looks like he's gonna go for it too. Or not. I'm not sure why he didn't. Maybe he's trying to slow down uh, Liam. Because now Liam can use instant charge. But Liam, I believe, has uh, Toro in hand. So he can put roll them back in hand anyways but of course jake wouldn't know that and he's not gonna go for it either way he played arvin instead seal stone and best off darwin candy pidgey Grab the candy after quick. Candy. Inferno Rain. Two on the Zard, one on the active. For the retreat. Retreat.
Ultra Ball for the Bibero. Liam's gonna have it out, draw power now, potentially. Belt on the Zard. Incisors for three. Swing for the KO. That is a uh, 13 now. Still not enough for the one hit KO, sadly. 13 plus a 7, uh, 200. Pokey suffered three items, nice. Three for three off the Pokey Stop for Jake. Retrieval, discarding the vacuum in the vessel. Don't know how I feel about discarding that vessel, but okay. Can't see his hand, but Jake must have cards he wants to keep over the vessel. Or on top of that, yeah, he did just power up his attack more, so that's potentially why he discarded the vessel, I guess. 6, 12, 18, plus a 7, that's at uh, 240 now. That hand is thin. Nest ball failed. Counter up the B barrel is a good one. I mean, he could have gone for the double prize with the Rotom, but B barrel, more draw power. He's trying to slow down Liam. Actually, I would have gone for the Pidgey. He could have knocked out the Pidgey as well. Let me see 6, 12, 18, 19, uh, plus a 70. No, no, not enough for the Pidgey. I was about to say. Makes sense. Okay. B barrel is the pick there. Rod getting the cards back and uh, energy. Believe you got an Iono. Uh oh. Jake has a very big hand, too. The bad thing about that is it will beef buck back up the deck, though. Iono.
body puffing. He's trying to build up that uh, B-barrel again. Glass vacuum for the stadium, I would assume. Or that. Not sure why he went for that. I mean, I guess, yeah, last zone, so Jake gonna get it back. One more energy for the attack. Six, twelve, eighteen, plus two, two hundred, two seventy. Six more for the one hit KO. Don't think I'll be able to get six this turn though. Oh, he's one up one. Five more. So now he's uh, 6, 12, 18, 22, 4 away. Counter up the Pidgey. Okay, that's even better. One hit KO. Now, Jake is up one prize. Best Liam could do is tie it now, which uh, isn't very good because Jake can uh, come back. Liam has double prizes. You'll have the Charizard itself and the Rotom. So yeah, this is looking good for Jake. Game one is looking good for Jake here. Esta creo que la ganó Jake. Another Zard down. Incisors. You get the barrel back. Luminion. I believe I saw Luminion in Liam's hand. Yep, Luminion can get a boss or whatever supporter he wants.
Luminia. Oh, Liam hasn't even played a supporter. I thought he already did. So Liam could still play the supporter. Looks like he got an Iono. He didn't show it, but I believe he said it out loud. He also was a show it, but it's okay. I guess. Ultra Ball. Had one card. Swung for the knockout. Game is tied back up. Can he get a one hit KO? Let me see how far he's away now. Uh, 6, 12, 18, plus 6, 24, 36, 24. He's at 310. He needs two more. Two more for the one hit KO. Dos más para no quedarlo de uno. Pokestop. Discarded the boss. But the boss may not even be useful in this game, actually. Only one supporter for a turn. I'm sure he will rather use an ancient supporter to build that up some more. Build up his attack. Well, I mean, I guess he could use the boss this turn, actually, on the road on. Year, I think. No pal pad. Got one. He could get two, but yeah, he doesn't want to risk going for the two. Hoping he can top that, get off this concealed, I would assume. He's gonna go for the concealed now. Concealed. No Sada. That's not good. I think Jake may get scoop here. Well, I'm not sure. This uh, ancient deck is very new to me, so I'm not sure what he could do here, actually. Jake decided to scoop. All right, let's fast forward this a bit.
Pidgey, one charge, one Zard, one booster, one two, two Asians in the prize, one booster, one vessel. Jake going second, okay, that makes sense. Puffin, and uh, looks like he's doing a price check. Liam is doing a price check here as well. Double Mander, Charmander. Next spot for the road, I'm all assume. Yep. Instant for the three. He got a fire energy and I can't tell what else. Uh, looks like he got a candy and a seal stone. Very good. Earthen Vessel discarding a Coridon. Greninja, not bad. I would have gone for the moon, but yeah, I guess stuck between a rock and a hard place. You need the draw power as well. Concealed, boss's orders, and it looks like he got a moon, I think. Double moon down, okay. Sada for one energy, Sage. That's all he had though. Ultra Ball. Three moons. Very good. Jake with the pass. No attack is fine. Jake has uh, counter cashers and he's got all basics, so he's just trying to play from behind anyways. He's fine. Can still go either way here. C 
seal stone and uh, ultra ball looks like from the Arvin. Use a seal stone right away. Candy, okay. Now you got the free retreat. Gonna have to retreat before you can use it. To the flower man, I better leave. Ultra Ball, Arvin, and Clefa away. Got a Zard, okay. Inferno. Wait, what? Going to swim with the Pidgey. I mean, yeah, he could knock it out, but I, I don't see why he would want to. He is attached to energies, unless he has a way to get those energies back somehow. Okay, swim for the knock with the Pidgey. Lost volume there, okay. Got the volume back. Ball for the two. Awakening. Capsule. Let me see the Pidgey. How much are the how much else does the Pidgey have? I forget. I don't think you're gonna be able to get it here though. Only nine. Strong for 160, 120 short, okay. So 12 ancient short. Candy, another uh, Zard. Using the Pidgey ability. Okay, let's see what he gets here. A Puffin.
rating Zard on the field as well. Swing for the 180. Swing for the 180. Liam could lost vacuum. Potentially into two price turn. Poke Gear 3.0. He kept the guidance off the Poke Gear. Guidance, no penny this turn. Discard of the bosses. Bosses are not really needed, I guess. Concealed. Counter casher, there you go. Ooh, B barrel's price. Does Liam have more than one B barrel in the deck? I don't know. I mean, the only thing you could do is to roll them, but you don't want to roll them because it ends your turn. No attack. Ultra ball. Okay. I think Liam realized that B barrel was prize. Disappointed. Boss up to Greninja, okay, not bad. Take take out some of his draw power. Guidance. He did get a penny. He could potentially penny here. I mean, well, not this turn, actually. Let's see what he does. I think he kept a penny. I can't tell. Six, twelve, and I can't tell what that other dice is. Either way, 
it's not gonna be enough. Okay, yeah, 13. Nice prime. I believe that was a top deck. And he got the B-Barrel now off the prize. Not looking good for Jake right now. He's only down by one though. And he's only got a uh, basic. So Jake will still bring this back. Counter Casher, nice. And like that, Jake is back up by one. Which is very good considering he's only playing basics. Good price trade. Jake may win this game now, actually. Yep, boss is back in deck. He could get the road on potentially as well. What else would he get? Bosses and Asadas. Rod. Rod for the Greninja, and uh, looked like it was a uh, fighting energy. Nespa play down the Greninja. Six twelve plus four sixteen. Still not enough for the one hit KO, but can knock out this uh, Charizard that's in the active as holy damage. Ooh, bosses. I believe he got the bosses. Jake has game. Jake has game. Unless Liam Ionos. He can boss up the Rotom, one hit KO, and that's game. I mean, I believe that was a boss's orders. I'm like 99% sure that was a boss's orders. Jake has game right here. Yeah, Jake didn't it well. Sacó el boss. No queda Rotom de un solo golpe. Lost vacuum. Why did Jake do that? He flashed the boss's orders and Liam um, Toro. I mean, Liam was probably gonna Toro either way. Ah. Jake must have thought that Lost Vacuum was the end of the turn. Not like this. Does it end like this? Let me see. 6, 12, 18. How much does he need? Uh, Twenty-six. He needs nine more. I don't know if he can do that. Is 
Jake is double counting. Man, if Jake would have never flashed that boss, Liam may have not of Toro, but then again, who knows? Too late now. You can't go back. I mean, Liam would have probably Toro anyways. Get rid of that uh, liability. Oh, and he got two ancient in the prizes. He may not even, he may be short. He needs five more. Can he do it? Cinco ma, cinco ma. Not like this. Jake, you flashed the bosses, man. He must have thought the turn was over. That happens to me from time to time as well. The last vacuum can be a little finicky. He needs to discard 26, basically right under half the deck, which is crazy, to be able to one hit KO. That last zone. That's crazy. Por una carta y la, la tiene en el last zone. I, I believe that's 25. So yeah, he's just one short and it's in the last zone. Liam, that last vacuum came in clutch. The handshake. Good game, good game. Look at the little. All right, guys. Good game. That was a pretty epic final, not gonna lie. 10 short. Scan, guys. Follow. Take care. Quiescent. No veil.